And a sunny, pleasant day for the toy run or whatever you were running to today. Let's bring in Robert, sir, with what we could expect as we head into the school week because I've had a few days off and now they're headed back tomorrow. Yeah, it's never fun that first day back no. after the uh, long holiday break. But the nice weather helps. Yes, the nice weather does help. Great for recess tomorrow if you're going out uh, during the lunch hour. Lots of sunshine and very mild temperatures. Really wasn't that bad out there today. It was slightly cooler because we had a, a cold front slide through. But you can see Fayetteville all lit up there. And in Fayetteville, we rose to just shy of 60 degrees, but still four degrees above the average of 55 there. Look at that morning in 1976. Ho, ho. Seven degrees. That is a frosty, frosty November 28th morning. 64 today in Fort Smith, several degrees above your average of 58. Not far off that record, though, 77. We'll get close to records later this week. Uh, tomorrow we'll see a breezy day in northwest Arkansas. Winds gusting 25, 30 miles an hour or so. But regardless of where you are, just not tomorrow, but for a good part of the week, lots of sunshine uh, out there. And we will see warm days and quite mild nights. We will have some nights where we will only fall into the upper 40s out there. Thanks to this area of high pressure we're under, we've got northerly winds right now, a couple of high clouds trying to filter in, but really we should be mostly clear out there tonight. Temperatures across Northwest Arkansas mostly in the upper 30s, River Valley, lower 40s, a few locations. Fort Smith still one of the uncharacteristically warm spots at 48. You can see some of those high clouds tonight and then waking up tomorrow morning, we're mostly in the lower to mid 40s, not bad walking to the bus stop. <clears throat> and then tomorrow afternoon, we'll rise into the lower to mid 60s. It's a great Monday out there. Really, we don't cool off that much Monday night. And then Tuesday morning, more of the same, warmer than average temperatures as you head to work or school come Tuesday morning. And those warmer temperatures are expected to stick around at least for the next six to 10 days. You can see a better than good shot at uh, above average temperatures for our entire area. And that sticks around eight to 14 days out. We're now out to December 12th and very high confidence in the uh, I-49 corridor at, at above average temperatures, so keep that in mind. But seasonable tonight, we'll fall into the mid to upper 30s out there, and as I said before, we'll warm up into the uh, mid to upper 60s for your Monday. The extended forecast really speaks for itself here, really what I like to call rinse and repeat forecast because it's just a little bit breezy tomorrow, but lots of sunshine and lots of sunshine basically every day we'll of a weak front on Wednesday and a weak front on Friday that kind of knock our temperatures down. Maybe some showers Friday and into Saturday, maybe, but not enough to put include here on the extended forecast uh, with uh, mostly cloudy skies uh, as we go through the <clears throat> next couple of days. Same thing for the River Valley with those temperatures, mostly in the uh, mid to upper 60s out there and then uh, into the 70s by the time we get to the middle of next week, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, a, wow. a good week overall. Those are crazy temperatures. Love it. Yeah, I, I'm not complaining. All right. From weather to sports, we've got Jordan here. Double dose of basketball today at the yeah, mud, huh? We always say those temperatures are good for basketball because it's, right. still, it's <laughs> still chilly. Right. It's, still, it's still like that time where football mm -hmm. weather, it's a little cold. But yes, lots of basketball, a daily dose of victories. Yeah.